Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Boy Sam from Armada Trading here and today we're going to be looking at HCMC, a fan favourite again. I just wanted to give you all an understanding of where I think this stock's going to go. I did make a video about this last week and I just want you all to get an insight of where I think it's going to go, whether my plans have changed and what any recent news that has come up about HCMC. With that being said, I hope you have... I hope you enjoy this video and please remember to hit the like button if you do and subscribe and also be sure to check out our Discord where we answer all of your questions and queries and just interact with us, get to know us a bit better. And with that being said, let's go on with the video. So you all may be wondering why I have a one month graph on Moomoo Moo right now. Now, the reason for this is because I wanted to show you all something and what, what happened with HCMC in my opinion and what sort of, what, what the general public has seen. So... A lot of people loaded up on HCMC, where it's at the 0.001 mark. And what happened was we saw this rise as a lot of hype was built up around the stock. And obviously this lawsuit created a lot of hype and a lot of like a lot of motion about HCMC, which has really, really driven the price up. And this was on the that, this was on the 1st of February, and we saw it hit 0.0065, which is a massive, massive increase from where it was here, 0.0001, which is, like, that's an insane price. Now, what I think has happened with HCMC is that you have to remember, every positive reaction on the market, there has to be an equal negative reaction, and I think that is all we have seen here. And also, as well, a lot of people got quite scared when they saw that Philip Morris filed it was like a cease and desist sort of letter and pretty much what it was it was to prolong uh hcmc's lawsuit against them so basically they are trying to prolong this out as long as possible because they know hcmc doesn't have as much capital as philip morris however if, if hcmc can stay above water and they can see this lawsuit through and even if they can't see it through but they manage to get a settlement with philip morris then I could genuinely see HCMC going up a lot in value. And now might not be a bad time to actually average out your stocks and, you know, actually just just narrow it down a little bit. from Because I was sure a lot of people bought around here when a lot of the hype was being built up around HCMC. So if you did want to average your price out, now may not be a bad time because I can't see it dropping too far below this. Now, although I say that, we did see, we have seen quite... A low flag and i'll quickly show you over here like so so we have seen quite a large sell-off and oh, actually we, we saw quite a big buy here this is this is quite a big buy this, this is the volume ratio for anyone who doesn't know and anything that's orange is a sell anything that's blue is a buy now we did see a lot of buy around 0.0021 and we saw sort of seen it go gradually down and that is just because people are selling their shares within HCMC because they are, well, a, a lot of people have been panic selling. Now, what I think about HCMC and where I think it's going to go in the future. Now, I think HCMC personally, I've, I've always said this from the beginning, it is going to be a long-term play. They're not going to see money overnight. Philip Morris is not going to settle straight away. They're going to try and prolong this out as much as possible until Philip Morris feels like they are backed into a corner and in a lose-lose situation. Then... What I can see happening is either Philip Morris just buying out HCMC because their company is valued so much higher than HCMC, or I can see HCMC getting a large cash settlement from Philip Morris to settle this lawsuit. And that is just all my opinion. And again, I am in no way, shape, or form financial advisor. And please say anything I say with a pinch of salt. I'm simply a university student studying business and management, and that is all. Stocks are battlefields. Be sure to do your own research, your own due diligence before entering into these stocks. I can only scout it for you, but I can't fight the battle for you. But with that being said, let's get on with the recent news. Now, this is a very important factor that you have to bear in mind about HCMC. And this is from a Yahoo Finance article. And I want to read this to you because this was posted yesterday and it is very relevant to the information which I'm going to be telling you. So, as per the company's previous filings on August the 6th, 2018, the company entered into warrant exchange agreements with certain holders of its Series A warrants to exchange 46 million Series A warrants for 20,000 shares of its Series B convertible preferred stock. The, the Series A warrants acquired um, by the company in that exchange represented approximately 92% of the outstanding Series A warrants and would have been convertible 
into 460 billion shares of a company common stock if exercised as of the date of the warrant exchange agreements. This exchange reduced the amount of common stocks to be converted from the Series A warrants from 460 billion to 207 billion and an approximate 450 a 45% savings in dilution for the company and its common stock shareholdings. Now, like you have to bear this in mind that right now, the company, this is the most important bit that I want you all to pay attention to. So, in addition, since September 30th, 2020, 625 million stock options of the company have been exercised into common stock. Bear this in mind. Finally, 2.25 billion shares of restricted stock has been issued uh, pursuant to the contractual agreements with the company's officers and directors. So the, the company's officers and directors have issued 2.25 billion shares within HCMC, right? However, the current outstanding share count of the company's common stock as of March the 2nd is now at 300 billion uh, oh my god 300 billion <laughs> Mate, that is just insane that is absolutely insane i have absolutely no words for that like legit they have 300 billion outstanding shares and to sort of help anyone understand what outstanding shares mean so shares outstanding refer to a company stock currently held by all its shareholders, including share blocks held by institutional investors and restricted shares owned by the company's officers and insiders. Outstanding shares are shown on a company's balance sheet under the heading capital stock. The number of outstanding shares is used to calculate key metrics such as company's market capitalization, as well as earnings per share and cash flow per share. A company's number of outstanding shares is not static and may fluctuate wildly over time. Now, the reason why I'm telling you all this, and I thought I'd give you a proper de definition from, from an actual source, because I don't think I could explain it that well myself because I'm still learning as well. Okay, so this was a post that was published on Reddit, which I think explains that article a lot better than what I could probably explain it myself. So credit goes to this person, Creative232 on Reddit, be sure to, you know, go go drop him some love on Reddit. But in simple terms, if you had $10, its value after the press release is actually roughly $14.5. That is without it having a bull or bear effect. However, that's not how numbers work. This will still need to tick up. So you'll have you'll get the $14.5 of the $10. But in hindsight, its value really is $14.5. For those who are questioning why those that why there are more shares, there is actually less shares. You have to understand that one share of a Series A or Series B share may be equivalent to millions of common shares. Common shares are the shares that you and me are trading with. So us retail investors are actually trading with currently. Many of those shares, Series A, B, C, were either transferred to common stock or even better, cancelled, leaving the original value of your investment higher. As the market still has to do its thing, so even it, if it says 300 billion and it used to say 100 billion, for example, that 100 billion in addition to the previous Series A, B, C could have equated to 550 billion public shares, but now less public shares. So, Basically, what they're trying to say, focus, thank you. I need to get a new camera. My camera keeps just cutting out really weirdly. But anyway, um, so, so what they're trying to say is that the market value of those shares has actually is actually higher than what is being reported. So right now, basically what their news article is saying is that the shares are actually quite undervalued right now. And that is because that they have either been cancelled or they're leaving the original value of the investment higher because there is actually less shares within the market because common stock is very different to Series A and Series B stock. So just to make that clear. And I, I hope I'm explaining this well. And if I've made any mistakes, let me know in the comments because I'm learning just as much as you are as well. So with that being said, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for you. It really helps the channel out. And I can't thank you all enough for the reason really supporting this channel and giving us a voice on this platform. This is B-Boy Sam from Mario Train. I'll see you in the next video on the channel. Take care, everyone.